All of this is to prepare humanity for two cataclysmic events. Number one is the strangers that are going to be introduced. In the same way that the teacher said that no one is meant to question, you're going to see kids that look exactly like Avatar. Kids that look like some of the characters you've seen in sci-fi movies. They will come. These people will come. Strange beings. And when they come into a classroom or into a public gathering, you have no right to question them. And they can identify to be anything whatsoever. And the reason you will put up with that is because you have already been desensitized with the madness we are seeing today. Your brain has already recalibrated and gotten used to seeing beings that you don't understand where they come from or who they are. And yet you are able to put up with them. So you're going to put up with demons that look like humans in no time. It's coming very, very, very close by. It's even happening already in most places. That's why all of these are happening. The second reason is mass depopulation. You see what they're doing? In America, in most states, if you're not 16 years old, you cannot go into a store and buy liquor or cigarette. In most places, it's 18 years. In some places, you might even find 21 years old before you can make that decision to get high or to get tipsy on a liquor. Just that. Not like it's going to kill you. But kids that are less than five years old, six years old, seven years old, can make life-altering decisions to chop off their male organs, their private parts, their breasts, and go through some type of transgender surgeries. And in most cases, without telling their parents, and it is okayed by the powers that be. It is okayed by the authorities. And you don't see that Satan is already on earth here to rule through his son, the Antichrist. Oh, you don't see that? Adult baby is somebody who enjoys dressing up and acting like a baby. And it could be as young as... You know, you want to be a six month old or you can go up to two or three years old. It's whatever that feels right for you. I associate most with being two years old because I think it's the best of both worlds. You're young enough to still be able to use a crib and a bottle and diapers and all that stuff. But you're also still old enough that you can get around on your own and talk and tell people what you want. A grown man comes out and tells you, oh, I am this. I'm a baby, two years old. He's looking for someone to adopt and they will adopt that one and put that one together with a baby. A normal natural baby and they will be molesting them. We've seen cases. This is our world right now. You're 15 years old and a 20 something year old comes to sleep with you. That's big in America. You can go to jail for almost all your life, man. But that same person that is 15, if she was five years old, she could take a decision that has far more dangerous implications than just going to sleep with a man. And yet, nothing, it's totally okay and approved. The president of the United States of America, President Biden, just said that it's next to sin for states like Florida to ban Transgender surgeries for kids. Transgender kids is a really harder to thing. What's going on in Florida is, as my mother would say, close to sinful. I mean, it's just terrible what they're doing. It's not like, you know, a kid wakes up one morning and says, you know, I decided I want to become a man or I want to become a woman or I want to change. I mean, what, what, what are they thinking about here? They're human beings. 
they love, they have feelings, they have inclinations that are, I mean, it, it just to me is, I don't know, it, it's cruel. That is the president of the free world, or one time free world, America. Where all evil is now being experimented on. That's why Kamala came all the way from the U.S. to Africa to canvas for stuff that are unnatural and alien to the cultures and the traditions of Africans. And thank God for that Ghana MP and those Ghana MPs who stood their ground and told her off. This is where we are. Mass depopulation. Because when they keep chopping off people's genitalia, when they keep injecting them with puberty blockers, when they keep giving them all these things for sex changes, you know what they're doing? They are destroying an entire generation and stopping them from reproducing. God says, go take dominion, increase and multiply. That increase and multiply is what annoys the devil and that's what they want to stop. That's why people are chopping off their reproductive systems, taking hormonal drugs that will make them not to reproduce. The woman will not be able to take in, the man will not be able to impregnate the woman and it's going so widespread like an epidemic all over the place that in the next 50 years, it will be so difficult to find men and women who are capable of reproducing. In other words, all of humanity has been wiped off and you have different beings that they call so-called intelligent beings here on earth. That's the plan. You see the attack on kids. They go to the school, they place pornographic books there and show children that it's okay to do things that only adults are meant to do. And tell children that they can actually go through transgender surgeries without telling their parents. And they even tell them in some countries and in some places that if your parents are going to disturb you, you come, we will give you protection. An 18-year-old boy has just died because they were trying to create a vagina for the boy. You are born male. Someone else is born female. Even if they create a vagina for you, where is the uterus going to be? Do you have it? Are you going to have it? What is this? It is pure madness that is aimed at desensitizing you so that when their own beings that look like them come, you will have no say at all. You won't be able to challenge it. Even gay people are now speaking up. The LGBTQIA++ XYZ LMNOP MAP movement, um, they no longer stand for equality or inclusion. They stand for cultural dominance. And I really decided to step away once they started pushing hormones and castration and sterilization on children. Because guess what? When I was nine years old, I used to sneak and wear my sister's cheerleading outfits. I've always loved hair and makeup. So if I had been born today in this modern LGBTQIA XYZ culture, they would have told me I'm in the wrong body. And they could have given me hormones. They could have mutilated me before I was 18 and knew what I was doing. So the reason I stepped away is because all I ask is the freedom to be gay, wear a wig, have a good time. My freedoms end where the freedoms of others begin. And that includes evangelical Christians. That includes people who say I'm going to hell because I am a free speech absolutist. And if I want to have the free speech to, you know, be crazy and have fun, then I have to defend the free speech of others. You see, when we speak, they say we are homophobic. This is a homosexual talking because they know that this is not about rights or tolerance or anything. This is about 
changing the culture. This is about altering the energy balance of the earth. So when you have destroyed children and taken them away, kids are suffering and crying everywhere, polluted, the innocence stripped from them. Our world literally just crumbles. When you target children who possess the most potent, powerful energy that is still sustaining us on earth today, which is the reason our world is still here today, the way it is hanging in place. When you take them away and destroy them, the earth is literally destroyed. Period. That's what is going to happen. That's why they're targeting the children. That's why they're after the children. And this is why we need to wake up. As parents, we need to wake up. They have flooded our school system. I know when I made that video and exposed a certain YouTube channel I was promoting sexual perversion for children. People were like, oh, Joe, calm down. Take it easy. It's not that bad. Look what's happening today. They are emasculating our men all over. I saw where they said that um, Canadian members of parliament were wearing pink heels. Pink heels walking around. And you think, oh, that's Canada. Those guys are crazy. Look at our African boys. Everything they're doing in the western part of the world, they take into Africa. They're spreading it all over. Look at our boys dressed like women. Why do they have to put on women dress? Because if you want to please the devil, displease God. God said, don't, if your man don't wear something that belongs to a woman. And the devil said, oh, okay. I'm going to get all the men to wear them so I can effeminate them and strip them of their masculinity. And that's what he's doing so excellently. Look at all the Hollywood stars. I'm supposed to make a whole full video on this. It's an entirely different video series on its own. Almost every single Hollywood star that has got a name known all over the world, they have one address at some point in their career. It's either in a movie, or they go into a shop, or they're in a music video, or somewhere, somehow, they're going to wear a dress because it's a sacrifice these are sacrifices that you must out. You out it. You bring it out in the open for the world to see. If you don't do it out in the open, nobody will accept it. That's part of how it works. And look, they're doing it to our African boys. They're getting used to it now. Because the energy balance in our world has to tilt. If you don't tilt it, the Antichrist won't be able to rule. If darkness does not fall on the earth, how can the Lord of darkness, how can the God of darkness be able to rule? You pray a prayer, you say, oh, that kingdom come, oh God, that will be done. Now what is happening is they are summoning the kingdom of darkness to come so that the will of Satan is done. And that is his will, you see, being done all over the place right now. Are you awake yet? These things that are happening call for desperate measures. These are no times for hanky-panky. These are no times for trying to negotiate with the devil. Take decisions that will protect your home and your children. If you need to homeschool your children, do it. Make plans. It's going to be very discomforting. If these kids are going to be saved, it's going to be very, very discomforting. And you have to make that decision. Should I just let them go? Or should I deprive myself of my usual, regular, daily routines to be able to preserve and protect my home? You have to make a decision. You have to choose one. Because the world out there is beyond hostile and demonic nowadays. And these things and these guys are being bankrolled from the highest level 
Imagine the US government budgeting billions to spread the news. So you can match their funding and their finances now. All you've got is prayer, strategy, and that human force and resistance that no one can take away from you. You say no, you say no. You go to the school, you ask for the curriculum. What are you teaching my child? I want to see. You have the right. Do not let anybody take away the right that you have as a parent over your child. Don't let them strip you. If, you, if it means relocating from where you are, relocate. A lot of sacrifice need to be made. These are the problems that we have. Many of us don't want to leave our comfort zone, but we have to make that decision. A lot of sacrifices need to be made. Just wake up. Knowledge is power. The lack of faith is the reason God says my people perish. So wake up, seek knowledge. It doesn't matter how scary it might be. Just seek it, get it. And it will serve as a place of safety and refuge for you.